Hey there, it's Steve from SeriousKeto.com, and in this video, I'm going to try another tweak on the chaffle, the chan cake. But before we do that, if you enjoy low-carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, as well as lessons learned from my experience with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, click that subscribe button down there. And while you're at it, click the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. Now, this experiment may just be plain silly. I don't know, but I got the idea. If you can make a chaffle, can you make a chan cake? For this recipe, I used the food processor method, which I'll link to that video up here, just because I wanted to get the batter, batter, to be as battery as possible. All right, first the chaffle. Looking good, looking like a chaffle. Then the chan cake. Lighter in color. Hmm. Not sure what to make of this yet. So first we're gonna try the base chaffle food processor style. So good. I just love doing these taste testing videos because I get to keep eating the base chaffle. Like I said in the food processor video, this really gives it that Brazilian cheese bread taste. It tastes a lot cheesier to me. So now, Let's try the chan cake. Hmm. Now it's not as crispy, probably because you've got less surface area due to all the waffle bumps. It still tastes good, and I think, hmm, I'm trying to imagine this as a taco or gordito or uh, gordito, gordita, or as a little hot dog bun. I might be onto something here. You know what? I hadn't planned on doing this for this video, but I'm gonna whip up another batch of these chan cakes, and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of carb quick into the mix and see what happens then. Okay, our chan cake has been cooking for about six, seven minutes. I flipped it at the four minute mark. All right, so here's one side, hot. Here's the other side. I'm gonna let it cool for a second before we try it out. I've let the chan cake cool for probably about five minutes. It's still mildly warm. It's pliable. You can bend it. Uh, it starts to break if you bend it too much. It tastes good, but I don't think that adding the carb quick made it any more of a hot dog sort of bun or taco shell. In fact, Maybe less because it is now cracking where it didn't crack before I added those ingredients when I was just using the base food processor method. Flavor-wise, I don't know that the chan cake benefited from the addition of carb quick the same way the chaffle did in my other video. I guess for right now, I'm going to say that the chan cake was an interesting experiment, but Still, the chaffle reigns supreme. So I had completely edited this video. I had even uploaded it onto YouTube and made a thumbnail and everything. And then we had some hot dogs for dinner the next night. Actually, they were kielbasas. But I decided that I would use the food processor method of 
the Chan Cake as a bun, and it worked out really quite nicely. First off, the Chan Cake is very pliable, just as the base Chan Cake, just the mozzarella and egg, and it's heavy enough that it could stand up to a kielbasa, which is, you know, a fairly heavy-duty sausage. Because they're made in the dash, they are only about half of the uh, width or length of, uh, you know, a larger hot dog or sausage. So you'd be cutting your hot dog or sausage in half. Also, similar to fathead bread or fathead dough, it's, it's fairly dense and heavy. So, and, and filling. So you'll probably only need to eat one. You may, you know, if you typically eat two hot dogs, maybe you just wind up eating, you know, one hot dog with this. But I'm pretty pleased with the way that this turned out. I may experiment more with it at some point in the future, but for right now, I think I've, I've scratched my chaffle itch enough and it's time to move on to some other videos. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Thanks for watching.